Hi, I'm Zan, and today I'm going to be painting this beautiful black and white kitty named Gemini. I'll go through the painting process from start to finish and talk about what I'm doing in each stage. Let's start with a reference photo. For this portrait, we had a lot of different reference photos to choose from. What I'm looking for when I choose reference material for a portrait is primarily lighting. And the reason lighting is so important is that if you've got natural light that describes the colors of your pet accurately, I can make a painting that looks just like them. The challenge is that a lot of indoor light nowadays is different colors. So you'll have some bulbs that are warmer or cooler than others, or maybe your pet is sitting near a window and also is lit from one side and it can make the colors come out really off. It can even make it look like their face is a different shape than it really is. Kind of like how right now I'm lit from below and it makes me look a lot different than when I'm lit from above. That's just because I have a reflective floor. The most important thing that I look for in reference photos of pets is, is the light natural? Because that means that the full spectrum of colors is going to be in there. White will look white, black will look black, brown will look brown instead of gray. And the other thing is that it's just one source of light or a maximum of two. What that does is it makes it very clear which direction the light is coming in so that I can see where the shadows have to go. So that aside, I'm going to start on the painting itself. I do this process freehand. So I'm going to start on canvas and then I'm going to check my work against what's on the computer to see if I'm close or not. I'll adjust two or three times and then move on to the background. After the background's in, then I get to move on to Gemini itself, and we're gonna start blocking in shadows and getting into all of those fun fur details. At this point, even though I haven't put any details in, most of the painting is there. The only white space remaining is just around the edges of where it's brightest, like here. Even though Gemini is a black and white cat, you can see that most of the white fur isn't actually white, it's gray. And if you look carefully, you can also see in the black, it is not black. In fact, by the time I'm done, the black fur in the light up here is going to be about the same color as the white fur in the shadow. There's a really cool optical illusion you can take a look at that shows this effect, and it's very important in art in making things look round and 3D. So now that I've got this base coat of paint that looks like a cat from far away, now I can start on details that will really make it come to life. Let's just clip an anti-glare filter on there. Thank you. 